you go, Walter. You've got to find Donnie Dash, the microfish. You can count on me, Spy Parks. This car is my ticket to the dream house. This is the only way to travel. Well now, things are starting to look up. What a shocking waste of valuable attic space. I've been told that it's impolite to stare, but in this case, I'll make an exception. The refrigerator is now in cold storage. This button opened that door. My instinct tells me I'm getting closer to Donnie Dash's location. This button opens and closes the bottom drawer. Typically, I would open and close the drawer by hand. I can open and close the top drawer with this button, but will it sort my socks? And the $74 million question is, who invented the retractable TV? Calm, cool thinking pays off. Film at 11. Around and around and down, this is Walter Wireless. Eureka. Walter, I'm glad you found me. I've been on surveillance here in WeWorld, searching the airwaves for anything suspicious. I intercepted a smelly message that has to do with some activation code. My equipment went on a fritz before I could get the whole message to you and SpyCorp, but I think it's really important. I'm sure it is, but if it was a radio message, how do you know it smelled bad? It's not smelly. Smelly. The Society for Meaningless Evil Larceny Lying and Yelling. All right. Our evil nemesis. So what was the rest of the message? I need to transmit it to SpyFox right away. Of course. The activation code is cherry, apple, orange. Got it. Walter Wireless calling SpyFox. Please stand by. Come in, Spy Fox. I read you loud and clear, Walter. Did you find Dottie Dash? I did. I'm going to transmit the activation code Dottie intercepted to you via the Spy Watch. Stay tuned. Cherry Apple Orange. I've got it, Walt. Good job, Dottie. Thanks, Spy Fox. The rest is up to you now. Good luck, Spy Fox. This is Walter Wireless signing off. I've got the off switch activation code. Now that LaRoche is in for it.
Here's where I keep my spy gadgets. Amazing! Professor Quack's spy skates feel like they were made for me. Oh, that's right. They were. That didn't go so well. Who are some of the skaters that you've trained? That skater who fell during the 1965 Autumn Games. Remember her? Very well. Well, I didn't train her. I don't want to ruin these skates. I'd better take them off. like some mutant Venus flytrap. Is this plant world? Correct, my dear. I am Madam Ladybug, the slightly irritated owner of Plant World. Instead of the beauteous red rose I ordered, I have been sent a mutant Venus flytrap by Napoleon LaRoche. Nice cage, though. A locked cage for which I have no combination. On top of it all, this particular Venus flytrap has something in its mouth. Interesting. It's the off switch. How diabolical of a roach to feed it to a mutant Venus flytrap. I've got to get it out of there and find a rose for the ladybug. No small feat. I can use this talk balloon to gather information about getting a rose for Madam Ladybug. <laughs> The nice ladybug would really like a rose. Do you think I could have one of yours to give her? I'm sorry, but I can only give out a rose when an ice skater performs a perfect single snow boot. I can gather information about the single snow boot ice skate move with this talk balloon. <laughs> What do you know about the single snow boot ice skating move? You look tense. Let me give you a massage. I tell you, kiddo, I did the single snow boot as the mass she bear. In fact, that skating move is fully illustrated in the latest edition of the bi-monthly magazine Skaters Weekly in a color diagram and everything. Color diagram? May I have that? It's all yours, sweetie. Thanks. Here's where I keep my spy gadgets. Now I'm set to show off the moves I've learned in the spy ice follies. This should do the trick. I was so good, I burned the skates out. Oh well, I don't need them anymore. You did it, kid! I haven't seen a move like that since Sonya Henpeck!
Thank you. What a perfect red rose. Madame, would this rose be suitable? I thank you. Now, if I could only open that display cage, I would replace that mutant flytrap with this beautiful rose. Sadly, however, I was not given the combination. I see. But you can still have the flytrap. Houdini, I'm not. I'll have to find the combination to that locked display cage. I'd better answer my spy watch. Please stand by. Spy Fox, an informant has a hot tip about the off switch and is waiting for you at the Food of the Future exhibit. Ask for the candy apple. The candy apple. Got it. Thanks. Monkey Penny signing off. Spy Fox out. So that's my contact, eh? Brilliant disguise. I'd like a candied apple, please. Certainly, sir. Here at Food of the Future, all food is on sticks. It allows you to enjoy your favorite foods without using a knife or fork or having to stop what you're doing. Here you go, a free candied apple on a stick sample. Well, I have the candied apple. Isn't that just grand? Yes, but I, meaning me, have in my possession the candied apple. Only one candied apple sample per customer. Now run along and enjoy the fair, Pumpkin. Maybe she wants me to come back when there are less people around. Oh well, this candied apple looks good. Watch what you're doing. You want to give me a coronary? Ah, Lenny, you're the apple of my eye. What information do you have for me? Hi, Spy Fox. Listen close. There are spies everywhere, so don't look directly at me. This leaf contains the information that you need. This is too small to read. What do you want from me? I wrote it with my teeth. Now I got the split. People are starting to stare. Throw me in the dumpster. Suit yourself. Oh! I'm all right. Save yourself. I can see a square, a star, and a triangle on this leaf. Hmm, it's some kind of combination lock for this display cage. I did it! Oh, thank you, sir. I'll just replace that atrocious flytrap with his beauteous rose. Nicely done. I can dispose of that flytrap for you. How polite. Obviously, you're a fox with home training. Yes, I am housebroken, thank you. 